I don't know whether Lawrence has to apologise to the BBC or the Doctor Who production guy specifically, or whether he still maintains his criticism about the anniversary. Hang on, hang on, me apologise. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I stand by what I said about the 57th mm. anniversary. It was underwhelming. Mm-hmm. They could have given us the minute long trailer on that day. I don't know why they waited several days later to give yeah. us. Yeah. I watched that trailer. It looked pretty sure. Oh. No. Oh, oh, I liked it. You liked I it? liked it as well. they like fucking Daleks again. You know what I mean? Are you both excited for this episode, though? I am, yeah, because as we discussed last week, it's been a while, or it feels like it's been a lot a while, so... Yeah, I mean, the Daleks last appeared New Year's Day 2019, and I'm a mm-hmm. sucker for the Dalek story where they go on a killing spree. You know what, like, I don't know, like, when I watched the trailer, it looked like something I had seen before from Doctor Who. Oh. Like, it was like, you know... I feel like I've seen, like, a Prime Minister who's kind of evil. Before in Doctor Who, I feel like I've seen the Daleks in London killing people before. Mm. Like, that's, yeah. what, that's, what, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, besides, like, I guess, I don't know, again, I'm not an expert on this, like, seeing the Doctor in, like, this kind of prison, that would look kind of cool, but I don't really like this version of the Doctor, period. But From... yeah, it, used to look, it looked like something I'd seen before, and I was like, oh, really? This, we're doing. It feels like, you know, we're doing this again? Yeah, no, I get that, yeah. I mean, it's good to see, like, because he interacted with the crew last time, but to see, like, Jack joking about and sort of being Jack as opposed to being pulled away at the last minute because he I, has to, like. I, I just heard you say Jack jerking around. I don't think that's what you said, but that's what I heard. No, that isn't what I said at all. <laughs> Odd watch. Um, to see him interacting with everyone again, fully, as opposed to just having a chat with them and then leaving at the last minute, being pulled away because it's sort of like uh, set up. Uh, and maybe he interacts with Jody in the episode. I don't know. It's sort of. I think you said he. Well, would. I, I imagine oh, that no. this will probably be a two-parter, right? No. Like, I, this is going to be a full episode. This is a festive special, but usually a bit longer than... Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, okay, well, Sing- s- single, Single sort of feature length, in air quotes, rather than two okay. regular-sized yeah. ones, yeah. Um, and why is, um, um, is Jodie... Is it Jodie Whittaker? Yeah. Yes. Why is she in prison? What happened? That, that's how the um, season ended. At the end of the episode, I have dubbed Lawrence's Bane. Mm. Um, Hellbent. Yeah. Hellbent. Yeah. An SAS Jadoon team came down from the ceiling on some ropes and were like, Hands in the air! You'll do the rest! Are those like the soldiers with no necks? Uh, not quite. You're thinking of the Santarans. The Jadoon. Uh, uh, they're, they're similar, but they're rhinoceros people. Oh, yeah, those people. Oh, they were cool. I remember when they were introduced. They look cool. And from. Yes, and it keeps cutting away to like towers with green pods on them so whether at that point when she unveiled them the sort of shell is empty and it hasn't got the little squid yeah thing in it i thought was pretty cool and maybe they're empty to sort of initially sell it to the general public as a non-threat mm-hmm. and then later on they get the little squid thing put in them those green capsules kind of remind me, if you can think back to New Earth, which was Series 2, Episode 1, with all the infected people in the hospital, they were kind of in those green chambers as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were, yeah. Um, hmm. So what, 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 what's our theories for the episode? Like, why, like the Daleks, of course, are, like, working with the Prime Minister? Uh, so I think that... I'm going to call him Jack Robinson. I think I don't think that's correct, but I think that's similar enough to what the American Trump S guy is called. I think mm. he has maybe teamed up with another prime minister or whoever to create these Dalek drones, who are like Britain's new defence force thingamabobby. What's it? 
and you know there's this whole big media campaign or whatever and the companions are like well we know what a dalek is something sus about this hmm um and then i think that the dalek empire is going to get wind of this and they're going to be like as humans are eating pots and mm-hmm. they go down to earth and maybe there might be another dalek civil war i hope Whoa. that'd be cool because I think mm. there was some leaked filming months and months ago where some bronze Daleks blew up one of the black ones. So well, like, when they opened the little hatch, there was like those three people. What were they looking at? Were they just looking at the little fucking alien? Possibly. Or they could possibly. You, you just you don't see it from. Yeah, because it's like a POV shot. Yeah. Yeah. I I I might actually watch it because you know we talk about this shit in you know this podcast mm. so I, I'll, I probably will check this out for the hell of it for the sake of you know hey let's mm. we can talk theory craft the episode but yeah I'll probably check it out I'm not sure as hell though because Daleks Captain Jack I'm in oh yeah I, mm. I, I there was never a doubt in my mind that Lance would watch this Same <laughs> what was funny about the episode where Jack comes back in series 12 that episode is very sort of it's good but it is very like plot dense or like story dense because like a lot of shit happens in it Mm. and lawrence hadn't seen it yet so i messaged him and was like ah ah, ah, new episode Ah." i was doing a a late night shift and i put on facebook if you see the episode before me don't say anything about it because i had an inkling that something big was going to go down and i think Mm -hmm. the night before john barman had retweeted something which made us Mm -hmm. all go Jack back? Huh. Mm. So I I was pretty on edge that night mm. and I was busting to get back. But to be fair, in the message I didn't say anything. I was just like, you need to watch it. You look good. So mm. we'll, we'll we'll watch that. Mm. Yeah. And then this will Speak- of course kick off the new season, right? No. Series thirteen is filming at the minute, which means they're oh, no okay. So I'm guessing what? Late 2021, early 2022 for new series? If we're lucky. Late 2021? If we're lucky. Yeah. If you're lucky. It seems to take like three times as long to create a series now than it used to. As it used to. Hey, I swear, when I was watching this show back in the day, like, you know, Matt Smith, there was like a new season every year. It was. What's happened? Coronavirus? No, I don't know. No, it's not. Even before that, it took. Yeah, so oh, from wild. series one to four, which was Eccleston and Tennant, there was one every year. And yeah. Ten- Tennant had that funny year, didn't he? The, the year of specials, because he, they were handing over to a new production team for yeah. Matt Smith. And then Matt Smith had two years consecutively, and then he had a bit of a funny year where his final series was split over two years. They did the whole American system of having yeah. the mid season mm-hmm. break. Then Capaldi had two consecutive years and then he had a funny year which was basically a gap year where they only had a christmas special and then ever since then it's kind of become a bit weird so his last series was in 2017 and then most of 2018 was off and jody's first series came at the end of that year and then the only thing in 2019 was the new year's day special and then exactly one year later the next series came. Jeez. So is that like is that like a thing maybe maybe to like ensure quality? Because well, I'm sure like when you're releasing a, a new season every year, you might, the, you know I mean the, the episode count has drastically gone down as well because from Eccleston to Smith it was thirteen a season, then Capaldi was twelve, and then now Jody is ten, except next season will only be eight. Jeez, because two of episodes of season. Uh, well, it's, it's eight because of COVID. Okay. Yeah. But uh, there have been cuts. Bigger gaps and less episodes. That's not good. Yeah. Normally, well... you'd like, you know, you substitute the other, you know, like less seasons, but more episodes per season. But... Mm. 